Hey everyone, welcome back to the Farmhouse Cottage Garden. My name is Jordan and today we are going into week number four of my garden tour. So with these, what I do is I take you around, I show you what's growing, what I have growing, and the things that are really standing out this week in the garden. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first thing I wanted to show you guys this week was the sunflowers and the strawberries that we have on the back porch. So this will eventually have string lights going through it. Right now it's not done, so it's hanging our um, wind chime. But I just wanted to show you guys how big these sunflowers have gotten since last time. Um, they are doing so good and I'm so excited to see how much they grow. This one is the Black Russian, which will be really big. And then this one is your Pro Cut White Knight and your Ruby Eclipse. So they'll be all different colors in there. These are my two green stalks. They house most of our family strawberries as well as some sunflowers and some greens. So um, last week I had just planted some lettuce. Um, we have some more up here that have finally started to germinate. Um, the spinach did not do well so what I'll end up doing is transplanting some of the lettuce that we have here or the mustard and put it up here. Um, the mustard did really really well so I'm excited to see that more lettuce, the calendula is growing, and then our strawberries are looking really good, as well as some of the um, cosmos and the sunflowers down at the bottom. So this is what the first green stalk is looking like. These are a few of my flower starts right here. And then right here is the second green stalk, which houses probably like 95% of our strawberries with some sunflowers at the bottom. And as you can see, those sunflowers are getting nice and big, looking really beautiful. And everything is growing really well. So I'm excited to see how things progress throughout the rest of the weeks. Over here, we have updated our fencing as well as our trellising for the flowers. We have some Oklahoma ivory zinnias, um, a blueberry bush, some more Oklahoma ivory zinnias. We have a, I think it's a Francis Mayland rose as well as a little flower girl mix zinnia, a, is it Benares? giant salmon rose zinnia, and then another Oklahoma ivory, bee balm, some Thai basil back there, and then you can see the trellising for the dahlias that are back there, and they have grown so much. And I'm so excited to see how these start looking over the next few weeks. Okay, so first I want to show you the roses. They've taken off. We have been dealing with aphids all week, so that has been super exciting. Um, it seems to be a quite common problem right now for a lot of people. So I've just been using the insect homemade insecticidal soap with some neem oil, some peppermint oil, and then some castile uh, soap. And so far they look really good. Uh, most of them are gone within two days. I did two sprayings um, and it seemed to handle the problem pretty well. It started on this rose bush and um, everything is looking really well. I will probably do the spray preventively until it gets bad again and then I might do ladybugs because why not. Um, the sunflower is huge now. I'm really excited for that as well as um, I believe our radishes will be ready to harvest um, probably a little bit later this week. I think the one back here without getting absolutely destroyed by the roses, um, that one is probably ready to go. So we'll have some radish this week and the next plant that had aphid issues was this tomato in the first planter. Um, this guy got absolutely destroyed. There's still some residual leftover, like dead ones. Um, so we're dealing with that. I also noticed that I had a sucker get away from me on one of the branches. 
uh, right here and I kind of just I'm gonna let them go so uh, that's what I'm deciding to do with that and then as you can see the tomatoes right in there are looking really nice and um, you're gonna notice a leaf curl um, it's from the Sun these get basically Sun all day long um, so they naturally will do this at the end of the day. I film in the evenings. So you'll see that. And if you can know, you will know that it's an environmental thing versus a, like a virus thing. If the top leaves up here are not curled and they are not. So, um, I know that it's not a virus, so it's just the environmental factor here and probably in the steel beds as well. The soil stays really warm. Um, so it's probably a factor, but other than that, they're looking really well, still producing, um, as well as the cherry tomato was the next closest in the aphid range, but um, I haven't noticed any damage or any aphids on this one right here. And you can see all of the uh, blossoms right over there on the back side of that cherry tomato. And then next in this bed that you'll notice is the radish will probably be ready again this week. We do have the squash looking really, really nice. Um, down here, this is a yellow squash variety. And then we have more zinnias and you will see this as I'm going to save seeds from this one because I pollinated that myself. Um, that was my Dr. Witchies. This is my San Marzano. Um, the San Marzano has been slower than my other ones to start producing fruit. It has a crap ton of leaves, um, which I might have to thin out a little bit later on. Um, but we are starting to finally get some blossoms as well as on the other side we have some and down through there behind these leaves as well so overall looking good it is the shortest out of all of mine um, I'm not sure if I topped it I don't think I did but you know we're still growing so we'll see could just be a slow starter my second bed over here I absolutely went crazy with zinnias this week. I will show you all of them. Um, these are some of my favorite. These are the Benares Giant Salmon Rose. And I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, probably one of my favorite, I wouldn't say top favorite, but definitely a favorite of mine. Um, this is uh, the pink tie dye. And we do have some tomatoes right in there. And is looking really good. I've been keeping an eye on aphids as well for this one, um, but so far it looks pretty good. You notice the leaf curl on this one as well, but once again, if you look at the top, these are not curled, so they are good to go. Um, then we have a little flower girl zinnias over here, as well as this one, with a nasty little beetle that is not supposed to be there on it. Oop. It is not a ladybug for those of you who think that's a ladybug. Um, then we have another squash which is looking really really good we do have some ants but nothing too crazy we have some um, radishes down here which are doing pretty good um, did have a little bit of pest damage on the leaves but they're looking fine now um, we have another dr witchies right here with some tomatoes forming down there um i'm gonna have to pull this one because it's cat face and it's just gonna waste um, energy on that one but other than that looking really good as well lots of blossoms that just came um, this is a fused blossom that is coming right off this would this is like probably two or three tomato blossoms so what would end up happening is it would be a really giant tomato but it would be probably ended up rotten by the time um, it was time to eat so um, go ahead and pull those if you see them some of them i leave on some of them that look like really crazy like this i go ahead and pull though and then my other zinnia over here which is taller than me is the senora zinnia and i mean it's not even fully opened yet and it's magnificent this is one of the ones that i did not um pinch off so as you can see they're growing up huge like massive which I'm fine with they can grow big here so that is this bed right here we have a sweetie cherry tomato that is looking really good um, super tall looking mighty fine lots of tomatoes lots of blossoms looking really good right now 
We also have some more zinnias over here in this bed. This is another senora, um, and it's getting ready to probably blossom this next week. Um, other than that, the things to note here are my peppers are starting to blossom. Um, this is a jalapeno, so that one's looking really nice. I did pinch that, if you're wondering. Um, I had more zinnias come in, and then what's really, really exciting, besides the cucumbers that are back there, is the snapdragons. I did not pinch these. Um, I just wanted, this is my first year growing snapdragons from seed, so I just wanted to see how they grow. Um, this is Madame Peaches and Cream, so these could all be different colors. Uh, but I'm really excited to see what they do. And if I like them, then I might end up pitching it off a little bit further and seeing how it does from that. Um, but overall, these guys are getting ready to open up and I'm super excited to see what they're going to look like. The other thing I wanted to show you is these cucumbers are finally starting to trellis up. Um, they are loving this warm weather right now. And so they are finally, finally starting to get bigger. Same thing with this guy right over here finally starting to trellis up so that's really exciting these are my muncher cucumbers and um i also have stock over here this is the buttercream and it looks like it's starting to head up too so that's exciting so it looks like a lot of my flowers are getting ready to start opening up the fourth bed right here is another cucumber flower pepper bed um so this is my i believe this is my not opinio yeah and you can see all of the Let's see. Let's see if I can get you in there. You can see all of the blossoms back in there. So this is doing really, really good. Um, and then here's more of the snapdragons looking really, really good. We have lots of growth off the side of this one. Um, and then here's another snapdragon right here as well. We also have the silver slicer cucumbers that are have absolutely taken off this week. Like it's crazy how much bigger those ones are than the muncher this one is almost all the way up to the top of the trellis um so that's exciting and i'm excited to have some cucumbers so you can see it right in the corner back there um it's really exciting this is my habanada um super bushy and low which is normal for a habanada but i don't see many um peppers forming yet so it might just be a slow starter um, also have some more butterstock over here. And then this right here is actually my Brad's Atomic Grape. And it looks like crap, but it's producing fantastically. So let me show you a little bit. I just want to show you how big this guy is right here. And these ones, like what in the heck? They're fantastic and I cannot wait to try these this is my first year there's some more back there my first year growing this one so I'm really excited um, to see how that one does overall here is my fifth bed this is my melon bed um, we have lots of zinnias the Oklahoma ivory zinnias over here looking really nice and beautiful um, we have the peppers up front so these are our orange and um, yellow or golden bell peppers with lots of blossoms up in there this one is a little bit slower to the game um, but looking really nice and then same thing right here um, slower to the game but is looking really nice there are some blossoms right in there the thing of note in this bed is the melons these are the minnesota midget melons i have actually had to prune off a few of the stems that have grown out of the armpit because they have sent off their curly q tendrils which will grab onto all of these plants and that's not necessarily what I want them to do so I'm gonna pull a lot of those off until they get up to the top of the trellis and they can do whatever they want so as you can see they are growing really really well this one is to the top of the trellis now um, so this guy will grow right up there and that's really exciting too to see that I do have a dahlia back here I actually ended up pinching it off I can't believe I did it but I did it um this is the Audrey Teesbrook one or the Teesbrook Audrey it's supposed to be really little but it's doing really well now that I pinched it off so we'll see how that goes and then the last zinnia in this bed is the little flower girl zinnia and I really love how tall these ones are compared to the other ones that are really bushy so I'm going to save seeds from this one which is why you see that guy um, in a little bag back there 
because it's just a super healthy plant and I really, really love the color scheme in this one. The last bed is another melon bed. However, this is my Kajari melon bed. So this has another Oklahoma ivory zinnia in here with lots of peppers. Now, what I am noticing with these beds is that a lot of these peppers are, um, what's the word, drying up and falling off, which probably is from the amount of sun that they get over here um, and also probably water. Um, we have not had rain in over two weeks, so I've been having to water and use my irrigation. And I'm still, this is my first year with the irrigation, um, so I'm still trying to like figure it all out. Um, yeah, so, you know, trial and error. We also have a dahlia back here. And then my Kajari melon got big enough to finally transplant. And this guy is finally starting to grow. So that's exciting. And then another Oklahoma ivory zinnia. And then this is a sun gold cherry tomato, which is looking really, really good. Lots of fruit on this guy. Lots of blossoms up the top. And that is the big beds in my garden. Now the smaller one is the rose that is going to bloom the soonest. This is my Tequila Supreme Rose. I got it from Menagerie Flowers and it is going to be absolutely stunning. I can't wait to show you guys. Um, first though, uh, the sunflower is growing really well up here, so that's exciting. My marigolds are still doing really well but look at all of the buds on this rose like this thing is going to take off i'm so excited so it's so beautiful i can't even so i'm hoping that the rose right next to it will eventually start putting off buds instead of just growing but we will see i might need to add some more fertilizer but you know, we'll address that situation later on. Now for my middle rose, this is my herbs and my garlic and my sunflowers. So um, as you can see, the sunflowers have gotten absolutely huge. My parsley is out of control on both sides. We have some rosemary in the middle. We have some amethyst basil right in like directly center, more basil. And then you have the thyme back here looking really good. This one right here, is another i have two sunflowers in this one um this is also my onion and garlic which i think are getting ready for me to be able to pick the garlic um, as well as another sunflower in there and then these sunflowers i don't know what has gotten into these sunflowers these guys are huge that's probably like a good foot huge massive the size of my hand like they have absolutely gone crazy. So I'm really excited about that. So that means sunflowers. And the two that have really, really grown really well is the Pro Cut White Knight. So these two big ones, this one and this one, are the Pro Cut White Knights and they are really taking off. So that's super exciting to see the growth of the sunflowers. And so that completes this week's garden tour. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the things that I'm growing in my garden this week. I just want to say thank you once again for watching and enjoying this video. I hope you choose to start your garden this year and please let me know if you do. I'd love to know what you are growing in your garden and if you are trying any new things as well. So go ahead and leave a comment below so that I can see what you are growing or what you are trying this year. I hope to see you next Sunday with the following week's garden tour and you can see how the garden is growing because I'm going to bet that it is going to take off between this week and next. So I'll see you guys next week. Have a great day.